What is going on everyone? This is Mining. Wanted to bring you a video to talk about a few things. I just thought it would be neat if I showed you guys what the um, rig looks like um, without any graphics cards on it. Um, I actually was cleaning it to today and so you can see all the cards over here. Um, I used some compressed air to clean out all the um, the heat sinks and what you kind of want to avoid is having any dust build up in there and also but not not as critical but I went around the fans and using just a paper towel cleaned those off as well and I could have taken them off one by one and put them back on my rig but I figured I'd just take everything apart um, for you guys so that you could see I think it's important to do ma uh, maintenance on this I mean it's a huge investment so you might as well take care of it and the good news was that they weren't that dusty um, anyway and so here's what the rig looks like uh, without any graphics cards on it. You can see kind of the setup I was going with. Again, this holds eight cards, but you could you could put a lot more. You could probably put seven um, up there and probably two on each one of these sides and still have pretty good um, airflow and heat. And the reason why I only went with eight was because I wanted to give them enough room so that they didn't get too hot being too close together. Right over here is the AS Rock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. I dusted this as well. And you can kind of see what it looks like without any cards um, in it. One of the things you can see is over here has a built-in power button so you don't have to connect one of those or do anything with that. Very nice. A lot of you have asked how I hook up multiple um, power supplies to the motherboard and get them all to run and this is what I use This is a graphics card daisy chain. You can see over here has tw um, 24 pin and What happens is you just like a normal normal 24 pin you plug that into the motherboard and Whatever your primary power supply is it doesn't necessarily matter It doesn't have to be the most powerful one that you have but you plug the primary one into this and the secondaries all get plugged into here and so you can do up to three with this these are super cheap they're like ten dollars i would say at most you could probably get them for a lot cheaper i have an ssd just makes um installing windows and things like that pretty quick because in the beginning it was really hard to get this um, rig up and running as you can see here um, i got a really good price on this um, hx 1000i's 224 dollars off of new egg and what i'm going to be doing with this is i'm going to be replacing this as the primary power supply for my 1080 ti rig these are all 1200 watts so there's a huge price difference between a 1200 and a 1000 watt and this can the 1000 watt I think can run can easily run three 1080 Ti's so I figured I would since this was such a good deal I'd buy this I'm going to use the 1200 the other 1200 HX in a different build so that's what I've been doing um, you can see all the uh, the riser cables and things like that, um, microfabric, microfabric um, cloth, and some cleaning solutions. Um, if I wanted to take the CPU off, um, get at that. But anyway, that's what's going on with this. I wanted to talk to you guys about the scarcity in graphics cards and the fact that the graphics cards that are being sold are just insanely priced and strategies um, for dealing with that if you do want to get into mining. The other reason why I wanted to make this video is because as of today, January 8th, January 21st, um, we have, um, off of Hashflare, recovered 50% of our initial invest investment. We invested um, 0.05 Bitcoin into this, and today we have 0 0.025. This is without any referrals or anything like that. I've kept those all separate. I appreciate um, we use a referral link in the description. Helps my channel out a lot. But um, so it's 36 days and we made back 50% of our profit. So we're on target for um, an ROI under 100 days. And hopefully that um, 
keeps up as well. Um, the the amount that we've been paying has kind of been fluctuating, but it's you know, it's actually sometimes it's increased, sometimes it's decreased. It really depends on how many transactions are going through the network. But anyway, I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about a story that I have and kind of where what I would do if I was in a situation of just wanting to get into it. So one of my friends um, got her first apartment and she wanted to start doing mining. She was actually the one who got me into crypto mining to begin with. And we were going to try and set up a, a sort of a mining rig, but also a gaming, um, um, gaming computer for her. The idea was we would have three 1060 six gigabytes. And when she was at work, she could be mining with all three. But when she was at home and wanted to game, then she could mine with just um, two of those and use the other one for a 1060. Problem obviously is that the graphics cards, like especially the 1060 six gigabytes, were insanely priced. I mean, like $300, $400. And it just didn't make any sense to spend that kind of money. Um, so instead, what we did was we bought, we, she spent about $700 and bought a um, cloud mining contract with Hashflare. And it's making about $6 a day. With the 1060 um, setup, she'd be making between $2 to $3 per card. So, I mean, and that would be spending well over $1,000 for that. So at least at this point, my suggestion would be anyone who's looking to get into um, to mining, use the cloud mining service until either a new batch of graphics cards um, come in for sale or um, the new the new um, edition of the NVIDIA's finally come out. The other thing that you can do, and this is kind of what I've been trying to do, is basically just snipe good deals on graphics cards and um, components. So my go-to on that is Reddit's Build a PC Sales. It's a subreddit where everyone just lists deals that they come across. So for example, if I wanted to find out um, if there was any deals going on for graphics cards, you can search over there. You can see that there was, for example, these are all still horrible deals. For example, B&H Photo, um, 1060 for $300, 1080 Ti for 585. So you can still get these deals, but you have to be really quick um, with that. 1080 for 559. Um, but as you can see, these are all expired. Another place to check on just all the time is EVGA.com. What they'll do is they will um, put up graphics cards at MSRP, and there's a limit of only one per household. And so if you are just looking to get into gaming, or if you're willing to just build your rig slowly, that's a place where you can buy um, a single graphics card pretty easily. But it's still, this is a ton more than we're used to paying um, with this, even with these, I'm going to call them flash sales that are going on. Uh, but that would be the strategy I would have if you didn't want to get into um, cloud mining. But as it stands, really, cloud mining, I think, is the only thing that makes um, any economic sense in terms of um, the graphics card shortage. Um, so with that... 36 days and we're at the 50% on ROI, which is pretty good. And I'm just looking forward to new NVIDIA cards coming out probably sometime in the second quarter. And I'm going to be trying to build a couple new uh, mining rigs with when those come out. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I appreciate you guys. And thanks so much for the 7,000 subscribers. I never in my wildest dreams thought this channel would get um, so big. I also don't necessarily want to focus on cloud mining. That's not what I feel real mining is about, but because of the way prices are and everything, I don't think that there's necessarily um, a chance. If you don't want to do a year-long contract, another place you could go would be NiceHash. Um, you could buy a 24-hour mining contract and mine whatever type of altcoin you want to do with that. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.